turned snowy by the time we got to this evening, and now we're looking at drying conditions across the state line. So uh, out of this area of low pressure, we're getting a lot of dry air to spiral into the storm. So there's that sharp cutoff with the snowfall. Now we're looking at quiet conditions around the state line. So look for a break in the snow, but we're not done yet. Make it more scattered snowfall by tomorrow morning. So live look at state in Maine and downtown Rockford showing some wet roads out there. Uh, seeing a little snow stick to the sidewalks. Uh, this won't be the case everywhere, though. It kind of depends on if you're at or below freezing. Rockford's still above freezing, so still seeing some wet roads downtown, but outside of Rockford, right near or right at freezing, so that will cause that snow to stick in spots like Freeport. So be careful in the morning, especially around Freeport and to the west of there uh, because of the snow tonight, plus sub freezing temperatures tonight. Still looking at slick spots uh, through about 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, so some stretches of roads may be a little more slippery than other areas, especially the farther west you go. So on future track, any snow that's still lingering out there disappears uh, by the time we get to the end of this hour. We get to about 3 in the morning, though, and that's when that scattered light snow activity returns. Uh, so we are expecting to see on and off light snowfall before sunrise, and that just continues over and over into Friday. It won't be a steady snow, but it may be a little pesky. It may pop up several times as we head into the end of the work week. So for tonight, snow ends uh, by about 11 o'clock, if not done already in some spots, but continue to watch out for those slick spots into the morning, and then more on and off snowfall Friday through Sunday. At least we avoided the worst of it. However, some blizzard warnings in effect across southern Minnesota. We showed you some scenes uh, from around the Midwest earlier in the broadcast. Still looking at a winter storm warning just south of the Twin Cities and then much of Wisconsin under a winter weather advisory for lighter amounts of snowfall. So these areas picking up multiple inches of snow along with those high winds causing blizzard conditions across southern Minnesota. As we look live again at Rochester, Minnesota, pretty snow covered roads there. Saw some plows go by recently, so the roads do look a little better but they're expecting that heavy snow throughout the night and into tomorrow. For us, though, it's wrapping up now, looking at dry conditions for a couple more hours, 29 for the overnight low, and then on and off, kind of pesky snowfall through the day tomorrow and into the weekend. The temperatures do get a little above freezing, so that'll help prevent some of that snow sticking. So here's future track, and again, the theme here is on and off snow. You can see plenty of breaks within the activity throughout the day tomorrow. Tomorrow afternoon, we may even get some peaks of sunshine. And then heading into tomorrow night, more snow moving on in as the low pressure system departs. That's bringing all this snow in. So you can see a burst of snow before sunrise Saturday. After that, we have a dry start to the weekend. All of Saturday looking dry outside of that snow early in the day. Then we repeat this pattern into Saturday night. More scattered snow popping up into early Sunday. Sunday does look like it'll have some steady snowfall for a while, but then drying out into Sunday afternoon. So on and off snow tomorrow into early Saturday. Another round on Sunday. Both times may see about an inch or less, and we could stay in an active pattern for a while. Tuesday, Thursday, possibly beyond that in our forecast. You can see moving forward, we'll have temperatures cooling off a little right around 30 into the 20s next week. Slight chance for snow on Tuesday, better chance for now on Thursday. And in your most accurate 10 day forecast, we may even see snow again by the time we get to next weekend. James and Kristen. Alex, thanks. Still to come, star studded and not.